Hello everyone, it's Maria here from pepperlyrose.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I wanted to share with you a card that I recently made and it is this Rose Wonder foiled card that I had made um, about, um, about a month ago or so and I was blown away at how many views it has already um, had so far it has far surpassed any other video that I have done so I'm really pleased with how it went but there was a couple of things I wasn't pleased with and um, and I'm sure it's pretty obvious but on the whole the card turned out wonderful and the technique that I had used to foil this image was um, quite good and the foil did attach very well but as you can see there are a few like look over here there are a few images that are incomplete. So what I wanted to share with you is how to fix this and make the images look more complete without the use of a laminator. Now, what I was, th what I, um, I know will work is you can use your two-way glue pen. I've got this old Stampin' Up! two-way glue pen. It's lasted me quite a long time. Um, and what I was thinking was that we now just attach glue in the areas that are, that haven't taken the foil very well. So what I'll do is I'll just attach glue there and here and there. Just the images that are a bit incomplete and down here as well. And I think there's one there too that didn't come up well at all. And any other image that you think is a little bit thin and needs a bit of a touch up with uh, fo um, foil, you can do that. And over here too, there's one that didn't quite make it. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it's a little bit wet. So as you can see, it's a bit wet and it's blue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and then I will come back and I will show you how to attach the foil. Now if you remember, this is the foil I have uh, have at the moment. It's the Gold Satin Pulsar Professional FX uh, TRF colour foil. It is fantastic. I bought this from eBay. I got this on eBay from an Australian seller. What we'll do is with any bits and pieces that are left over, now, like we have little leftover pieces of foil that we've cut, off cuts, things like that. As I said before in my previous video, don't throw them out because they are going to come in very, very handy. So what I'll do is I'll let this dry for a few minutes. Oh, and there's a couple of areas here that I didn't really like how it took, like with the thank you, like the use not attached there properly and the O oh, a little bit and up the top there. And just, you know, pop some glue anywhere you think that it needs extra um, glue there. So what I'll do is this, once that turns clear the blue I'm going to quickly attach on the foil so what I'll do is I'll come back in a few minutes and I will show you how to attach the foil with um, the two-way glue pen so I'll be back thanks I'm back um, it's been what two three minutes since I um, turned off the video um, I just wanted the glue to dry up a little bit so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the glue I mean sorry the foil in that area up there that we did initially so you just rub it in just rub it in and the foil should stick on it that area that we had um, glued down with those little bits and pieces so now carefully peel that off let's see let's peel that off carefully give it an extra couple of minutes too but look at that it's already attached and it looks a little bit more complete so in the in times when that happens and you've pulled it off a little too early you can go back again because I'm sure the glue is still a little bit tacky and then you can um, glue that bit on now there's other bits here that are starting to dry so I'll just attach it on with these um, other pieces that I've got left over I mean, you can do this any way you like, but um, I'll just do this now for the sake of this video, like that. And then I'll just take that off. It's stuck on a little bit more. You can still use that same piece of foil and go in other areas here too, whilst the glue is a bit tacky. Just rub it in, rub it in. 
rub that in down here. And then just take that bit off. And as you can see, see, it's made it a lot more complete. And then again, we'll use this part here. There's a bit there that um, was not complete, so we'll see that uh, become complete now. So yeah, the, this technique, and although it doesn't work, it works very well, as I said before, with the laminator and just putting it straight in without a carrier sheet. There, were, there will be bits that have not taken very well, and that's fine. Just one moment, please. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that interruption. If you heard that phone um, go off before, that was my intercom for my unit, or my apartment, really. Um, I had a kitchen sink delivered, so I'm super excited because we're renovating our kitchen. But anyway, I'm now going to take off the foil. So you can see now that if there's anything, there's any areas you need to touch up, you can do so. So if you notice now, the O is complete, the U is complete, um, this area here is complete, that is complete, and that is complete. And as I said in the previous video, um, if there are any areas that you don't like the way they look and they're a bit, that's not a bit even because of the way I put my, um, my glue on, or I'll just try again, you can also try again because that glue stays tacky for a little while, the two-way glue pen. So the secret is, is just put the glue on, let it dry a little bit till the, the blue you know, just dries off clear and it's a little bit tacky. So that gives you time then to reattach, to attach the, the foil. Okay, there's another here area there that I'll just give another try. So you can reuse this foil pieces again and again. So don't throw them out until you've used them all up because there are, see, so you can reuse the areas that have not been used on other, you know, touch-up pieces, so do save these tiny pieces of foil, um, because they're, they're in, like, they can be expensive, you have to keep buying them again and again, but as I said, if the areas you're not pleased with, you can always touch it up, and then areas that you don't like, you can just scratch them off with the end of a craft knife, or a, or a, um, scissors, or whatever you like, anything that's sharp, so, I hope you've enjoyed this tip because those little bits were driving me crazy that they weren't uh, complete looking. So if you can carefully apply with your Stampin' Up! two-way glue pen the areas that you want touched up and you want to attach the foil, you can and there's no problems and it looks a lot better and a lot more complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. Sorry for the interruptions but I hope, um, yeah, you, you enjoy foiling your images away there and... Um, and have fun. So just know that this, um, the Stampin' Up! two-way glue pen is an excellent, excellent tool, not only to attach your projects and glitter and what have you, but it's also great for attaching foil as well. Okay guys, thank you so much and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.